come over here, Bubba. Come on. <laughs> come to Daddy. Come to Daddy. The aliens are coming in now. They say life is a trick and we are but the magicians. But is the magic real? Let's have a look. Okay. Here we have, as you see, a glass and you have an empty tube. There's nothing in this tube. It's absolutely empty. You can see that. You can see me. The tube is empty. And the glass there and the coin is here. What sort of coin is it? It's just an ordinary coin. Right. So we get the tube. If you can see that tube, it's nothing in that tube. And we put it over the glass and we say now the magic thing, hot schnitzels in the Negev, and the coin is disappeared. It miraculously appears again. You're wondering if there's something in the tube. There is nothing in the tube, as the doctor said to the night nurse. Look at it again closely. There it goes. The coin has disappeared. There it is. The walking nebbish. It's back. It's gone. It's back. I'm getting confused now myself which it is I don't know Where was I when I first learned the flute well it was 22 years of age I'd learned a lot of other instruments and I couldn't play any of them I just couldn't find the right instrument I was walking down the street one day and past a music shop and I heard a jazz flute some record maybe it was Herbie Mann or somebody I don't remember and I was just bowled over like meeting a beautiful woman. I was just fell in love with that sound. It was the coolest sound in the universe. And I immediately went and enrolled in the Melbourne Conservatorium. This is 1962. The guy said, don't shave. That's when I grew the moustache. It's never been off since, since 1962. That little bit of hair there, it's not for looks. It's where the flute sits so you don't get bucolic boils when you play. And so I started learning the flute in Conservatorium and I learned how to play Bach and sat for something exams and it was all very boring and then I suddenly decided I'd go to New York and study with a great guru, Lenny Tristano, an Italian blind pianist who lived out in the Bronx, out in Jamaica. And I went and had lessons. It was fantastically expensive, but I spent a year in New York City learning jazz improvisation, and that's how I started playing the flute. And of course, that was way before I started doing anything professional, which came quite a few years later and quite a lot of practice later. I went to Greece for two years, and I lived in a wind mill, and I had a little room out the back, and I put my chords up on the wall, and I practiced for six hours a day, and I learned how to start to play and improvise and get into the music that took me on to a professional career.